Noah takes Audra's job as ex-girlfriend over Newman Media's new hire? According to The Young and the Restless, YNR, spoilers, Nikki Newman, Melody Thomas Scott, will put herself in a difficult position when she forces Audra Charles, Zuleika Silver, to leave Newman Media. Despite Nikki's offer to take over the London branch, Audra declines and accepts her dismissal. Unfortunately, that will still leave Nikki without a COO. The timing is horrible because Nikki hasn't replaced Claire Grace, Haley Aaron, as her assistant yet. If Nikki doesn't get some extra help soon, she'll find herself drowning in work, which may lead to her trying to drown her sorrows with vodka as well. Jack Abbott, Peter Bergman, would not allow it happen, thus he will insist on fixing the situation once he arrives to Nikki's help. Unfortunately, Nikki will not like the first few COO options that Jack recommends. Victor Newman, Eric Braden, is overjoyed that Nick Newman, Joshua Morrow, and Adam Newman, Mark Grossman, are now co-COS since the brothers are finally getting along. Nikki won't want to deprive Victor of that delight by taking Nick away, and she'd never trust Adam enough to collaborate with him. The same goes for Nate Hastings, Sean Dominic, thus she will reject that proposition as well. Nikki does not picture herself working with Sally Spectra, Courtney Hope, who is now running her interior design firm. Victoria Newman, Amelia Heinley, left Newman for the sake of her daughter. Victoria's priority is Claire Grace, Haley Aaron, which Nikki will want to respect. Just when they think they've run out of possibilities, Jack has a lightbulb moment and hints to the ideal person to take over for Audrey. Nikki will press Jack to reveal who he is referring to, but he will first conduct some research and, most likely, ensure that this individual is on board. However, Jack will be certain that this individual will stand up, and he does not expect Nikki to oppose. Given Noah Newman's, Rory Gibson, impending return to YNR, Jack is likely to ask him to take over as COO. Noah is trustworthy and will go to any length for his grandma, including flying home to resume the family business. It's odd that Audra will reject down a London job, but her ex-boyfriend may be leaving his life in London to take over the position she recently lost. Noah may not be able to commit to a permanent employment because he runs a London nightclub, but he can certainly take some time off because Nikki requires it. The key question is whether Noah is still in a relationship with Ali Nyguen, Kelsey Wang. Noah may have split up with Ali by now, or he may simply be taking a break from her while she continues to work at the Jabot Lab in Paris. Ali and Noah have already had some experience with long-distance relationships, so they may be accustomed to it. Naturally, having Noah back in Genoa City may elicit some conflicting emotions in Audra. Audra may be upset that Noah has taken her former COO seat, but she may also be relieved that Nikki can rely on her grandson. Audra may also sense a familiar flutter in her heart with Noah around, will they reignite anything while he's in town? Regardless, the young and the restless spoilers indicate that Jack will provide significant updates, so keep an eye out for news on whether Noah will become Newman Media's newest hire. A critic's review of The Young and the Restless, Cheats and Corporate Ladders When it comes to The Young and the Restless, every fan has an opinion, and Soap Hub is no exception. We sat for five days seeing the good, terrible, and in-between. Here, we begin with optimism. Unfortunately, we don't always get our way. So here's a recap of why and ours week that was. This week, I'm disappointed and devastated because Daniel cheats on Lily. Okay, maybe I'm being overly emotional, but come on, YNR Lily, Crystal Khalil, has only been gone for a short time, and Daniel, Michael Graziade, has already slept with Heather, Vale Bloom. You just sank my battleship! Lucy, Lily Brooks O'Brien, began to ask Heather over to Daniel's for small things like breakfasts, hot chocolate making, and sleepovers, which was the first clue that things were headed in this direction. The kiss they shared on the couch after watching Die Hard was clearly the second hint that things were about to change in this direction. That was difficult to watch. Daniel abruptly minimized his relationship with Lily, which was the third clue that things were about to change. They hadn't reached the love stage yet? I couldn't believe what I heard. Admittedly, I got caught up in the beauty of Daniel and Lily, who were each other's first loves, reconciling and lifting each other up from the depths of their individual dramas. Lily is currently helping her daughter deal with a horrible circumstance. She is oblivious of the chaos that awaits her in Genoa City. 
But that's fine, I loved Devon, Brighton James, side-eyeing Daniel at society this week. Lily has instructed him to hold down the fort until she returns. I was all for his protective brother act, and even though Daniel admitted to his adultery throughout their talk, I'm still upset. Daniel and Heather's conversation during lunch made it appear as if fate had brought them back together. Daniel was completely immersed in the afterglow. Meanwhile, Heather sounded like she was ready to get back together now that Daniel, with Lily's help, had done the effort to pull himself out of the downward spiral he had found himself in throughout his marriage. Yes, now that he's all healthier and on top of the world again, replete with a healthy mind and a purpose in life, his video game company, she's back in. Apparently he's the man she fell in love with again. Wow. I need Lily to return to Genoa City shortly. Other YNR thoughts. Perplexing trends, what's with all the Red Rover activity at the various GC corporations? It appears that the families are pursuing succession-like circumstances at numerous enterprises. Some family members are abandoning ship. Others are leaving their day jobs to enter the business sphere. What is the purpose? Specifically, Billy, Jason Thompson, returned to Chancellor Winters from Jabot. Chance, Cotter Floyd, left his chief of police position to suit up and learn the ropes at CW, Kyle, Michael Mueller, is suddenly pleased with his work as COO, while his mother is promoted to co-CEO of Jabot. Audra, Zuleika Silver, appears to be the odd woman out at Newman, but Adam, Mark Grossman, and Nick, Joshua Morrow, work hard to get along. Will there eventually be an all-out conflict in the style of the Hatfields and McCoys? Even Nate, Sean Dominic, who betrayed his family before moving to Newman, is back at CW. Where is this all going? Still processing, speaking of Diane's, Susan Walters, elevation, as much as I admire her, I'm not sure I fully support her decision. To be honest, if Ashley, Eileen Davidson, wasn't in such a state right now dealing with the night the lights went out in her marriage to Tucker, I was hoping Jack, Peter Bergman, would make her co-CEO. Understandably, she is preoccupied. And Diane's influence in a place where everyone despises her is intriguing. This power maneuver will undoubtedly require further consideration. Best advice, I continue to thank the YNR gods for all of the Jack and Nikki, Melody Thomas Scott, deliciousness we're receiving now and in the future. It's upsetting, but I understand why Nikki does not want Victor, Eric Braden, to know she and Jack are working on her recovery. Also, Victor does not want anyone else to help his wife. That is why he has been micromanaging her throughout the day and night. When his friend slash former wife asked for his discretion, Jack gave her some sound advice, you're only as sick as your secrets. Nikki needs to listen to Jack. Tell Victor. Please include more scenes featuring Audra and Nate. Their most recent scenes are showing chemistry. Hopefully, we will see more. I'm not sure I want Nate to defect to her side, but I enjoy their intensity. Favorite sisters, Ashley and Tracy Abbott, Beth Maitland. I mean, they'll always select this category for me. But Ashley is in desperate need of assistance. She's not sure if Tucker is gaslighting her, but she's about to find out. Tracy sat next to Ashley on the plane to Paris, and it was a fantastic moment. I'm looking forward to seeing what they find. Even more, I'm looking forward to the he said, she said situation being resolved. Hint, hint. Listen to him, Adam Newman is happier than he's been in a long time. He's back at Newman, he and Sally are on good terms, and he's doing everything he can to get along with Nick as they work together as co-CEO. However, he never hesitates to express his opinion. This week, he brought up the crazy Aunt Jordan, Colleen Zank, issue. His statements were greeted with hypocrisy and or disregard. Guess what happened? Jordan might be returning for vengeance. Would it damage Victoria, Nick, and Nikki to simply let Adam in so he could assist? One, previously, wicked individual may be able to aid stop another who is currently diabolical. Just saying. Best move, Audra abandons Tucker, Trevor St. John. I watch a lot of British reality TV, well, not a lot, but I do watch Love Island UK. On that show, they have a saying for when someone suddenly loses all attraction to another person as a result of something they did or said. That guy simply gave them the ick. And you cannot undo what they did. 
that relationship is instantly doomed.